All right, 250 the food stamps. The food stamps. <laughs> 250. Food stamps. 250 food stamps. I'm gonna pick the food stamps only because Stodgy Boy's not nobody. I can have dinner by myself. Food stamps. The food stamps. Food stamps. I don't give a <laughs> that corny ass nigga. 250 at food stamps. I don't give a fuck. I know Soldier Boy. 250 at food stamps. So give me them food stamps. I can't make some chicken Alfredo. <laughs> 250 in food stamps. Food stamps. I can finesse 250k out of Soldier Boy. What the fuck are you talking about? 250 in food stamps? Be for real. Shout out to that lady, man. Food Apparently, a, a vlogger went around asking young ladies, Would you rather 250 in food stamps or dinner with Soldier Boy? Food stamps. And majority of the women, the young ladies, said they'd rather take the 250 in food stamps. Soldier Boy found out about this and he went on one of his classic Soldier Boy rants. Y'all gonna never make it out the hood. It's gonna die broke. I wouldn't have dinner with y'all. It's a anyway. I will not have dinner with no New Jersey anyway. I will not have dinner with no crackhead look at anyway. Y'all cannot be in the same room with me. Don't die in the hood. Y'all gonna die broke. Y'all ain't gonna never touch a million dollars. Y'all ain't gonna never touch 30 million. Y'all ain't gonna never touch a hundred K in a day. You gonna die broke. You you lived your whole life broke. You ain't you ain't gonna never be. Damn. Let me explain something to y'all, man. I know when y'all do these interviews and you answering these questions, you know, certain things sound cool to say. Soldier Boy is usually the butt of everybody's joke because that's the image he portrays, you know what I'm saying? I'm the first one to do this, I'm the first one to do that. Drake, right? That, that's what we know Soldier Boy for. But if I was given the choice to have 250 in food stamps or have dinner with Soldier Boy, I would have dinner with Soldier Boy. If I was given the chance to have $2,000 or have dinner with Soldier Boy, I would have dinner with Soldier Boy. I don't care if it's Soldier Boy, I don't care if it's Flavor Flav, I don't care if it's Vanilla Ice. You have to understand certain conversations and certain things you can learn from certain people is way more important than trying to be funny. I can learn something from Soldier Boy. I can learn something from Flavor Flav. I can learn something from Vanilla Ice that them food stamps is not going to teach me. That conversation might lead to you being in a room with a bunch of people that can help you. I'm going to give you a perfect example. Me and my boy used to move around the city. We was doing music. We wanted to be rappers. We went to this event throwing at Cascades. There was a whole bunch of influencers in there and we were nobodies. All right. Now we went with our boy Dwight. Our boy Dwight is one of those people that when he get drunk, he's very social. He gets to talking to everybody. He got drunk. He got to talking and he talked us into the VIP section. We get in the VIP section. He get to talking to this white dude. The white dude took a liking to us. We ended up finding out that he owns a headphone company. His company was the one actually sponsoring the event at Cascades. So we get to talking some more. He invited us to Gary V's birthday celebration. Now we all know, yeah, everybody know who Gary V is. Gary V is like this motivational speaker. He basically tells you go out there and get this money. Stop sitting on your ass and go get this money. We go to this this party for Gary V. T Grizzly performed. YG performed. It was all these influences in there. I have never been in a situation like that where I've never been in a room with that much money. And when I say that much money, meaning that like the people that were in that room, everybody had money. And you could tell. It wasn't like your rapper, regular rapper money. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it was NFL players in there. It was NBA players in there. And it was like business moguls in there. Just in there having fun. The caliber of women that were in there was different. When I say caliber, I mean like um, professional gold diggers. I've never been in a room with professional gold diggers. Where, have you ever looked at Dragon Ball Z? You know how they had the scouters? Vegeta, what did you say his power level is? It's over 9,000! Like, these bitches were standing in the middle of, what, like, that, that little section where we were at. And it seems as though they had a scouter, and they were... This nigga's broke. This nigga's rich. This nigga got some money. Like, it's... They was reading. They was reading the room. Some of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. But, I say all that to say, bro, like, all of that shit transpired from just a simple conversation. My boy Brandon was able to meet YG. All that transpired from a simple conversation with a, with a, a white guy that we didn't even think, we just thought he was there. 
We didn't even think he was there to do anything. So imagine having a conversation with Soldier Boy. Imagine having a conversation with, with Flavor Flav. Imagine having a conversation with anybody who has done something that you have never done before. Anybody that I can learn from, I'm going to have dinner with if I had the opportunity. Nigga, I, in this same room, I sat down and had a, a conversation with my cousin's husband. This man did 19 years in prison. God rest the dead. He, he got killed last year. They shot him like five times in the head. God rest the dead, bro. I had a conversation with this man about prison, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. <laughs> the shit I've learned, I've learned from him. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good on prison, bro. I'm good. Anybody who has experienced something that you haven't experienced, you should have a conversation. Whether it be you aspiring to be a millionaire, have a conversation with a millionaire. Everybody wants to be a millionaire. Whether it be you want to change your life, have a conversation with somebody who has changed their life for the better. Do not sell yourself short by being closed-minded. You know what I'm saying? Learn to think outside of the box. How could this help me? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of them bitches that's, I'll take the 250 in food stamps. The follow-up question should have been, how much money you have in your bank account right now? That should have been the follow-up question. Or that should have been the first question. How much money do you have in your bank account right now? I'm pretty sure a lot of them hoes don't have no more than $75 in their bank account. Where do you work at right now? Well, I work at uh, 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 Forever 21. This ain't, this ain't no knock to anybody who works at Forever 21 or who works at Ross or who works at Macy's. This ain't no knock on you because you have a job. All I'm saying is I'm pretty sure when you clock in that motherfucker, that's, that's not... That wasn't your dream job. When you was in kindergarten and they asked you what you want to be when you grow up, you didn't say a cashier at Macy's. You didn't say, I want to flip burgers at Wendy's. You never said that. I'm pretty sure you said, I want to be a doctor or a lawyer or I want to be a millionaire. At the end of the day, everybody wants millions of dollars to, to take care of their family. right? Everybody wants some generational wealth. So why would you not want to have a conversation with somebody who has touched a million dollars? That's all I'm saying. Even if it's Soldier Boy. We don't give Soldier Boy enough respect. A lot of your favorite rappers right now would not be who they are if it wasn't for Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy is the original viral rapper. Some of y'all may be too young to know that, but Soldier Boy was the original viral rapper. Soldier Boy was like the first rapper to actually get famous off of YouTube. The Soldier Boy and I think Justin Bieber. I don't know who the rest is, but Soldier Boy is the first rapper to get famous off of YouTube. Before that, Niggas need to shop their demo off to these record labels. Now, you can go on YouTube, drop your music, go viral, and now the record labels is looking for you. Soldier Boy started that. Soldier Boy started that. So, when y'all get, get on here and y'all try to be funny, man, just remember, bro. Don't sell yourself short trying to be funny. 